let's see what ten dollars can get you in China. <laughs> Xi'an is one of the China's most popular tourist destinations. Xi'an was the eastern starting point of the ancient Silk Road, which was not just a road, but an international connection bringing products from the one side of the world to, to the other. An important path for the culture, commercial and technological exchange between East and West. When you hear about Xi'an, the first thing that probably pops to your mind is the terracotta warriors, and that's quite normal. These warriors are, after all, world famous. Uh, they have become an international symbol of China's history. Ancient terracotta warriors in Horses Museum, Ancient City Wall, Big Wild with Pagoda and Bell Tower. So we were kind of hungry with my friend and we've decided to go and explore one amazing spot. It's really famous for its food, which is called Muslim Street. In Chinese it's called as Hui Minjie. Just regarded as a tourist scenic spot by foreigners, it's actually considered a snack street by the locals. And it's an ideal place for locals to kill time during a hot summer. As a matter of fact, uh, what makes the Muslim street a food street is an ending lines of various restaurants and food stalls, some of which specialize in selling cakes, others in dried fruit or breads, and hordes of stalls selling barbecues, meat, own skewers. They have a variety of souvenirs as well. The speciality of this place is that most of the owners of this place are ethnic minorities, which are Muslims. The Muslim street is very crowded as usual, and as you can hear, so many vehicles mm. which making noise. So many cars, yeah, but maybe that's the beauty of it, because uh, you are feeling like you're indifferent, uh, atmosphere and you can just feel something really Chinese actually the time of the visiting is also very good because it's, it's spring time and you don't feel like it's really hot or really cold you just can be outside and feel comfortable yeah and recently it was a Chinese New Year and nowadays lots of Chinese people visit this place and even if it's uh, Big day, still we can see so many people here. Wow. <laughs> While traveling around and trying to find something what fits into our budget, we actually stumbled upon this guy which gave us to try so many types of tip of ring. Uh, this kind of things you can encounter very often while you are walking there. Um, you would be given snacks, uh, tea, um, and sometimes some other things. Well, that means we still have ten dollars to go. Well, let's continue our food search. And then we spotted this, and we couldn't just kind of pass by. Decided to take something sweet, and this is called tanghulu. <laughs> These are fruits inside the caramel. This is very delicious food, and one of my favorite places in Tunisia. Let's take. Mm. Oh, strawberry. So for two tanghulu, we paid ten RMB. You can find it absolutely everywhere when you're just moving around and exploring the city, you can just grab and go. Very nice. 
The Muslim street is a fantastic place to wander. All shops and restaurants in the streets are operated by Muslims. The store flanking the narrow alleys sell almost everything you can imagine. There are even a number of stalls selling parts of aircraft. If you are prepared to bargain, you will be amazed at the final, final prices. This place has a long history. In fact, the street has roots in the Silk Road. Since Xi'an was formerly the capital and the beginning of this famous trading road, many immigrants made their way to the area. Millions of Chinese Muslims can be linked back to the Arab and Persian traders who traveled the Silk Road in the past. It has been said that foreign diplomats and merchants once resided in the area. When they married and had children, the population here started to grow. In fact, most of the people living here now are the descendants of these immigrants. There are plenty of souvenirs on the way. I also spotted one interesting thing, which is called pepper cut. It's a widely popular uh, art in the North China, especially in Shanxi province. On days of grand ceremonies, such as the Chinese New Year and weddings, local people like to decorate the doors and windows of their homes with a red paper cutting. The paper cuts are mainly of three kinds, figures, customs and animals. They are usually bold and comical to carry the good wishes of the people. The main tools for making a paper cut are just scissors or knife and pieces of paper. The hand skills in this paper cutting are very important and the cutting process is very worth watching. You really can find whatever you wish to surprise your friends, relatives and so on. So I also forgot to mention that there is a great mosque, obviously, because the area is called Muslim Street and there is an amazing performance of uh, Shanxi traditional opera right in the middle. <laughs> We decided to hit the road and find the restaurant to have a nice lunch for all. Since lunchtime, every restaurant is pretty packed. Uh, my friend recommended actually to visit this restaurant, she's been here before. And uh, to fit into a six dollar budget, we decided to get a few dishes, which you're about to see. Uh, which exactly um, six remaining dollars <laughs> so we spent everything except for a few cents <laughs> so we decided to find a restaurant which uh, which sells soup dumplings and a Chinese hamburger these two are really famous around here so this is the restaurant we are entering we ordered our food and um, since Chinese here cannot really speak uh, English, you have to use translator, so be ready. Finally we get our food and you can see here Rou Diamo and Guan Tang Bao Zi. So we start from Rou Diamo. Rou Diamo is famous as Chinese burger and it can have different fillings like beef, pork or lamb. So we choose beef and the second one is steamed buns and it, it's steamed buns uh, because inside it has soup so we will try and experience <laughs> yeah i'm very excited to try actually i'm kind of hungry because right now it's um, what time is it now half past 12 and it's kind of time for a chinese lunch so we're going to try rodemo which is sometimes i do try as a breakfast dish but only with vegetables and uh, yeah let's dive in bon appetit <laughs>
Then is also known for its cold noodles, which can be made from rice or from flour. On this tree there are dozens of noodle, noodle stalls where you can ask for cold noodle dish. You won't regret it. Well, there are a few other must try dishes uh, here in Xi'an. One of those is uh, it's called uh, Yang Opa Mo, which is the pita bread soaked in a lab soup. Uh, they call it the best food in Shanxi. So, on $10 at the Muslim Quarter, we got steam bowls. Okay. Roja Mo. Some sweets. Take in consideration that we were two people, so so see you. 